What I'd like to do now is to play a reading game. So David, would you hand out the dictionaries? Um, well, you can't get caught up in the story, you know, so it's pretty, pretty nice to, um, to read that. And um, what we're going, David, I'll just take one as well. And um, what we're going to do, so we'll just um, move along here, but these are a lot of the things that you could... Um, Okay. So, one more, David? One more? Oh, sorry. Okay. So, what I'd like you to do first of all, so because with quantum reading, we're going to mentally photograph the pages and you're going to turn them fairly quickly. Yeah? So, what I'd like you to do just to make it easier for yourself is just do this with the, um, with the, the, the corners of the book and do it um, the bottom of the book and the front of the book because um, as you'll see the game will stretch your mind a little bit. Okay, so when we, when we quantum read, I'll come next to Turin here so that everybody can, um, can see me. This is, is this yours or is this mine? Oh, it's mine. Okay, so let me just pop it over there and we'll just move this. Okay, so um, when we read, we do quantum reading, and this is giving you a little bit of a sneak preview of what we're going to do later on tonight and tomorrow, is because we're doing a, a physical book, and a physical material, whatever material, it could be a book, it could be an act, it could be anything, um, put three fingers this side, and enable you to turn the pages fast, so three fingers this side and two fingers there. So if you can do that, first sort of step. Yep, that's right. Everybody's got there. Front of the book, Jean-Claude. Yep, two fingers. A thumb and, that's it, that's it, yep. Three fingers, two fingers, okay? Yep, that's great. Two fingers that side. With your left, left, yeah. No, uh, thumb, thumb and four finger. Thumb and four finger, yeah. Yep, that's it, that's exactly right. Okay, so that's the first step. Second step is we need to turn the pages. So you see you've got a little crease here. So sometimes it's easier if you take that crease and you just flick the pages. Do it in the middle of the page and just flick it over. And then th these two fingers just keep it on, on that side. Just flick it over. Now it doesn't matter if you take more than one page at a time because you really the research is saying we actually mostly need 4 to 11% of the material in any reading matter. English is a very redundant language. Often there's one word in the sentence that gives you the whole sentence. And then they tell you what they've told you, they tell you what they're going to tell you, they tell you stories of their grandmother, but you just want to get to the guts of the book, yeah? So just turning the pages, yep, I think everybody's doing that pretty well, good. So that's the first thing. How do we turn the pages so we can read at 25,000 words a minute? If you're doing this, um, I'll just pop it here if we, because we just want to get the movie on the go. If, um, if you're doing this, this is roughly reading at 20, when spending two seconds on an open page is getting you to do that at 25,000, yeah? In the beginning, you'll be a bit slower because it really is a physical dexterity thing, yeah? Okay, so we all know how to turn the pages, good. Next step is, um, how do we mentally photograph the pages? So now we've got the hang of holding the physical book, yeah? How do we mentally photograph the pages? And what I'd like you to do is a little fun exercise to demonstrate this. I'd like you all to look at the top of that blue wall up there, yeah? And then take your hands and your arms and put them slightly above your eye level. So that your eyes, if I can just demonstrate with Luke, yes, your eyes will just go to that blue, never mind the um, certificates, just above that mm -hmm. blue, yeah? So yes. your eyes are just above the blue and shoulder length apart. Sarah, a little bit wider apart? Yeah, shoulder length apart, okay? And then take your forefinger, the two forefingers, and point them to each other. Shoulder length apart. A bit wider, Luke, a bit wider. Shoulder length apart, like this. Now what I want you to do is to keep focusing on the wall and slowly bring your fingers together. Slowly, slowly, look. Slowly, slowly, slowly bring your fingers together. Keep focusing on the wall, keep focusing on the wall. You'll see your fingers at your peripheral vision. What do you see just as they join or before they join? Jean-Claude, one finger. Yep, that's it. So, so do it again. 
So slowly, slowly, slowly bring them together. What do you see just before they join? Yep. Do you see a little third finger, like a little mm -hmm. sausage? Yeah, yeah. Yep. So that's your peripheral vision. So when we read, we're looking at this with peripheral vision, sub, um, divergent eye focus, expanded vision, many, many words. So the book is actually here, yeah, where, where the finger is. And you're looking there. So that's how you mentally photograph the book because you catch it in one glance. And so in, 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 um, in practice, what you do is you're not looking at the print. You're looking about two centimeters above the book. Yeah? And the print will be blurry. What I also want you to be aware of if you're looking there is to make sure you can see the four corners of the book because that will go into your peripheral vision. So let's try that. Let's start turning the pages, sort of focusing there, and making sure at the corners of your eye you can see all four corners of the book while looking up, here. While looking up there. Yeah? And the print will be blurry because it's going into your subconscious mind first. Can everybody see that? Just keep flicking the pages fairly quickly. We want now two seconds with an open page. Yeah? Everybody can see the four corners? Yep. Yes? No? I don't yes. know. Yes. I'm asleep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Really okay. Good. Good. With this hand, it's just it's just practice, yep. But 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 as you go here, you catch your eye there. And I'll show you another way where you'll pick up everything. So Okay, so, every, so that's, that's the next step. That's how you mentally photograph the information on the page. Yeah? Going straight into your subconscious mind, bypassing your conscious mind. Okay, so that's the next step. So we know how to hold the book and we know how to photograph the pages. Third step is we need to get our mind into gear, into a certain state, a super learning state. And you experience it with, with uh, the uh, personal genius paraliminal. So it's your alpha state. It's sort of your um, really relaxed in the zone state. So how we get there is um, there's a special technique of breathing. So you'll slow your breathing down to half your normal pace. And it's also called ha breathing from Hawaii. And you'll do it this way, I'll demonstrate. So you'll close your eyes so you don't get all that visual stimuli to excite your brain. Close your eyes and then you breathe in normally. But when you breathe out, it'll be ha, ha. And, and as you ha, ha, so you relax your shoulders, you relax your muscles around your eyes, you just really just keep relaxing, so you're just so relaxed, yeah? And that opens up your super learning brain. So let's now practice with 10 ha breaths. So arms and legs uncrossed, we'll close our eyes so we don't get any external stimuli. And then we'll breathe in. I'll breathe out loud, but you can do it softly because sometimes if you're in borders or something, ha oh, ha, oh, they wonder what you're doing. Yeah. So okay. So closing your eyes, sitting relaxed, arms and legs uncrossed, breathing in, and then ha oh, ha. Oh. Relaxing your shoulders. Relaxing your jaw muscles. Relaxing your eye muscles. Relaxing your mind. And now gently open your eyes. Can you feel that's a different brain state that you're in? Yeah, has everybody got that? It's different, it's quieter, it's, yeah? That's the quantum reading brainwave state. So you practice getting down into that state, then 
you mentally photograph the information. It's a different mind you're working with here. Okay? So, getting back into our beta state again. Um, so, we know how to hold the book. We know how to turn the pages, mentally looking here and looking at the four corners. And we know what mind state we're in. It's a really slow, hypnotic, trancey, meditative mind state called the alpha brainwave state. Okay, one more thing to go before we start our game. When you're in that mind state, you want to keep that state until you've finished quantum reading. So what we've devised is you do some rhythmic chanting because when you're saying a rhythm, your brain tends to keep the state that it's in. It just kind of sort of goes along much easier. So you're making it easier for your brain to keep into that rhythmic alpha state. So what I've done is I've developed a little, little affirmation chant and it's two, two sort of uh, phrases if you like and, and you'll learn them during the weekend. Uh, turn the pages with me now but keep into the rhythm that I'm, I'm, I'm sort of speaking with my voice. So it's like relax, relax. As I read, I evolve my mind. Relax, relax. As I relax, I access my genius. Relax, relax. As I read, I evolve my mind. Relax, relax. As I relax, I access my genius. Good, you've all got it. Some of you are turning a bit slowly. The faster you turn, the better your brain works. So believe me, so you just, the conscious mind is like, oh, got to do everything. Other mind, mental photograph, on you go. Mental photograph, on you go. Okay? All right, so we're ready to play the game. So I'm going to put on some different binaural beat music. This is more sort of waterfalls and, uh, and the sea. And then we'll play the game. It'll take a minute. And then similar to the exercise we did earlier, we'll read for a minute and I'll ask you a question about what you read. Um, okay. So I'll, I'll time it and we'll read for a minute and then I'll ask you to close your eyes and think of any word that you could have, could have been in the dictionary between A and where you read to. And just allow that word to pop into your mind. You don't have to search for it. If you relax, it'll choops, come into your mind. And once you've got it, I'll ask you some questions about it. Okay? Everybody ready for the game? All right. So turn your dictionary to A. Yeah. Okay. So let's do just three half breaths now. So we get back into that alpha state. Closing your eyes. And then open your eyes, getting your divergent eye focus, and start turning the pages while I do the chanting. Relax, relax. As I read, I evolve my mind. Relax, relax. As I relax, I access my genius. Relax, relax. As I read, I evolve my mind. Relax, relax. As I relax, I access my genius. Relax, relax. As I read, I evolve my mind. Relax, relax. As I relax, I access my genius. Relax, relax. And stop. And then I'd like you to look at the last word at the bottom here. Everybody will be different. Once you've got that word, close your dictionary and close your eyes. And now I'd like you to think or imagine any word that could be in the dictionary from A to where you read to. First word that pops into your mind. And when you've got a word, just raise your hand. 
Good. If you haven't got a word, thank you. Put your hand down. Just imagine a word. Just pick a word. Thanks. Put your hand down. Just keeping your eyes closed. Keeping your eyes closed. Okay. Now when you've got that word, I'd like you to picture where it is in the dictionary. Would you say or imagine it's on the right hand page or the left hand page? Just take a guess. Once you've got that, is it on the top of that page or the bottom of that page? And once you've got that, one more question. Is it on the right hand column or the left hand column of the top half or bottom half of that page? And once you've got that, open your eyes and check it out. Have you found the word? How did you go, John? Uh, same, same, and same column. Great. How did you go, John? Um, I was missing here. Yeah. So I found it here. Okay, so pretty close again, yeah. The meaning is exactly the same. Okay. How did you go, Sarah? Something really weird happened. <laughs> I love this. Yes. That's exactly what happened to me the first time. Do you mm. see how brilliant we are? That is really Your mind yeah. knows where it would have been. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We are absolutely brilliant. Believe me. Yeah. It's, it's when you do things like that, it's like, oh my God. Yeah? yeah? How did you go, Amanda? Um, right location, wrong page. Do you, if you turn it upside down? No. It won't work. How did you go, Ian? Yeah? That's pretty good. Yeah. Okay, that's pretty good. Now the secret is to getting it spot on is to relax. Your mind can do this. Don't sweat. And the second secret is first word that pops into your mind. If you get abracadabra, no, no, I've got it. I don't want that word. What about cheats? You overriding what's happening in your brain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so that's how they. The that's right. That's what happened to the guy when he got 100 percent. Right. It's a different part of the brain. We're working with a different part of the brain. Mm -hmm. Let it come to you, and if you can't, take a punt. It's actually funny you say that because I'm not the world's best speller. So I was guessing it's spelling. Right. Do you see how genius you are? Yeah. So you were not a good speller. Can we? Can we? Yeah. Rephrase this now, use a little bit of NLP here and just you were not a good speller. It, would that be okay for you, yeah? That sounds good, good Australian to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now let's play it again because you know how to do this now, but with a slight variation, let's turn the dictionary upside down and back to front. Your subconscious mind doesn't care how the information gets there, it can sort it out by itself. Does a photocopier care how you photocopy it? Absolutely not. <coughs> billion to one we're talking about, yeah, billion to one. All right, so let's turn to Z. Lot of stuff at the back here. Okay, so again, we'll do three hard breaths, yeah, and really, really relax now. This is the secret of your success. Really relax, we'll do three hard breaths, we'll go straight into turning the pages, looking with divergent eye focus. All right, let's go. <sighs> Gently open your eyes. Divergent eye focus, two centimeters up, looking at the four corners of the page at once and rhythmically turning the pages. Relax, relax, 
as I read, I go, my mind relax, relax, as I relax, I access my genius, relax, relax, as I read, I go, my mind relax, relax, as I relax, I access my genius, relax, relax, as I read, I evolve my mind. Relax, relax. As I relax, I access my genius. Relax, relax. As I read, I evolve my mind. Relax, relax. As I relax, I access my genius. Relax, relax. As I read, I evolve my mind. Relax, relax. As I relax, I access my genius and stuff. And then turn the dictionary around, and it's the top word now, yeah? Because you had it upside down. So it's the top word, where you got to from Z. Where you got to. So close the dictionary and close your eyes. And again, imagine a word that you could possibly have read from Z to where you got to. First word that comes into your mind, or first word that you imagine. Just raise your hand when you've got a word. Good. Just guess a word if you haven't. And now, again, where is that word? Is it on the right-hand page or the left-hand page? Then, on that page, is it on the top or the bottom half of that page? And then finally, is it on the right-hand column or the left-hand column of the top or bottom half of that page? Once you've got that, open your eyes and check it out. <laughs> yeah? Yeah? No? <laughs> Just wait to see the others. How'd you go in? Um, I've got the right spot on the right column, but the opposite page. So if you turn it upside down or you turn the right way up? Yeah, that's the right You see, some of you will get it upside down and some of you will get it the right way up. I don't know, what your brain decides whether it's whatever it is. You got it? Yeah, same thing again. Not in the dictionary. Not in the dictionary. Yeah. Your creative mind's really having fun with you tonight, isn't it? It's really creating all these words. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Jean-Claude, you're okay. How'd you go through it? Oh, I'm fine, Yes. Good. So that's right. So, yep. Yep. Good. Okay. That's really good. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. 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 Great. Great. So, Amanda, where did you where did you get? Um, I just want to have a, a look, little look because usually when you're doing it back to front, your subconscious, your conscious mind has absolutely left the room. It says, "I'm going. I don't know how to do this." And sometimes people are more accurate when your conscious mind is completely out of the way. So, so what did you? First of all, did a word come to you, Amanda, or did you think it came to you? I think it came to you. Okay. Um, I can't remember what it was supposed to be now. It's supposed to be on the left-hand side. Yep. I think on the bottom, on the right column. Yep. And it's at the top of the right column and the right page. So it, so it doesn't work if you turn it upside down. Okay. So quickly, Amanda, just close your eyes and think of a word. Any word? One, two, three? Yep. Okay, where is it? Top, bottom, left, right, which column? Guess, just anything, whatever. Sunny again. Okay, right, yep. Okay, open your eyes, check it out. Well, pretty much. I'm Give fine. her a thunderous round of applause, everybody. Good, good, good. So really just relaxing, Amanda, and let it come to you. You've got a brilliant brain. Let it work. You don't have to do anything. So mine was in the right spot, but, but turned around. Doesn't matter. Okay. Doesn't matter. Because actually our eyes actually see upside down. That's a physical fact. And your brain has learned to turn it the right way up. 
they did a study of people and they gave them upside down glasses for two weeks. And so they, so within two weeks, their brain had turned it around again. So then they were seeing the way you normally see without the glasses upside down. So then they took the glasses off and then they started seeing it upside down. With two weeks, the brain had turned it back up again. So we've just really got brilliant, brilliant brains. Just how do we use them? How many unemployed brain cells do we have? Mm -hmm. Like billions, I'll billions. Word, so. <laughs> yep. Okay, David, can you collect the dictionaries, please? Okay, so that gives you a bit of a preview of, of quantum reading.